Can we get a round of applause for Hunjin Ryu? Can we get a Ryu chant going? Can we get a Ryu chant going? Oh yeah, woo! There we are, number 99. And, and can we get a big round of applause for his interpreter, Martin Kim? Can we get a Kim chant? There he is, Martin Kim, the man that uh, translate for, for Ryu when Rick Honeycutt wants to scream at him on the mound. Hunjin Ryu, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Martin, can you first ask him uh, what's it been like his first year in Los Angeles, uh, being, being here and getting welcomed by not only the Korean fans, but all the fans of Los Angeles? Oh, thank you so much. The most memorable part of you know, last year is just seeing how much uh, how much the LA fans love the city, how much they love our fa our team. Uh, it really encourages us uh, to play well, and uh, we're going to try our hardest to bring a championship this year. Uh, about his relationship with his teammates, especially Yasiel Puig. They become very close. It's pretty obvious. Uh, can, Martin, can you ask him about that, how that relationship developed? Uh, I actually don't like him very much. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> he, he bothers me a lot. <laughs> No, but that's why he's a close friend. <laughs> how do you guys uh, communicate? Like, uh, how, is there a universal language between you and Puig? Uh, it's all physical abuse. <laughs> and that's, that's a part of communication. I heard he kicked him in the shin yesterday. <laughs> we saw it yeah, on he, Twitter. Or you it. kicked Puig in the shin. <laughs> It's really unfair that he came out that way because before that he hit me first. <laughs> it's always the retaliation that gets caught on film. Now, if you faced Yasiel Puig, um, how would you get him out? Sliders! <laughs> uh, or would you hit him? <laughs> Knock him down. Yeah. What I'm not really sure how to answer that question. <laughs> he might go inside. Yeah, yeah. He buzzed the tower a couple of times. That's Hunchin Ryu and his interpreter Martin Kim joining us here on AM570 Fox Sports LA. Kevin and I are doing a special Dodger talk live from FanFest with uh, over, uh, I would say, a very sizable crowd here. Now, you were talking about how uh, Puig annoys you, uh, Ryu, but what about your interpreter, Martin Kim? Do you ever just want to lock him out uh, of your hotel room once in a while? Martin is translating in Ryu's ear now. Oh, uh, no, 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 and he's really nice. Um, Are you sure he said that? I, I'm, I'm positive. I don't know if he said that. Sounds a little a good, longer a answer, guy. Martin. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that answer wasn't that long. Good point, Kev. Hey, let me ask, uh, being here in the United States, uh, traveling around the big league, does, uh, does Hun Jin have a, a favorite city that he likes to go to? <laughs> Outside of LA, I guess. <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I've realized how big America is going to every different city we travel to. Uh, every time we land here in LAX, I always realize how much I love LA. During the offseason, I had a chance to taste some Korean barbecue in the heart of Los Angeles, Koreatown. Do you want to give everybody out here uh, your favorite place to eat? And uh, maybe not tell them the time that you'll be there so it's not as crowded. <laughs>